Mesa High School senior Diana Denise Garcia is a United States citizen, but her parents are undocumented and her sister is a DACA recipient. She is part of a mixed status family and they will not be receiving stimulus help. I think a lot of people, you know, they say like, oh, it's just, you know, $1,000, but um, it could really go a long way for a lot of different families. And as millions of families all across the country scrambled to adapt financially after income loss because of COVID-19, the $1,200 offer a bit of relief for many. It's part of the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Program, known as the CARES Act. In the legislation passed, a social security number is required to be eligible to receive the stimulus money. A tax ID number, a common substitute for a social security number for immigrants without legal status, was only eligible in the case of an adopted child. U.S. citizens are also being left out if they jointly file taxes with their spouse, who does not have a legal status. If you're filing taxes, even if you have an individual taxpayer number, and you have everybody in your family filing taxes that has a social security number, but one person, let's say mom or dad, you would not be able to receive this economic relief, even if you would have qualified otherwise. I think mixed status families are always going to, they're always going to have a disadvantage from other families. Which is why Arizona pro-immigrant advocacy group Aliento has put together a relief fund for mixed status families. We wanted to really take responsibility and say that they were not alone and we were a community that was going to back them up. According to the Center for American Progress, about 16.7 million people in the country have at least one unauthorized family member living with them in the same household. In Arizona, 7% of the population live with an unauthorized family member. This week, the Mexican-American Legal Defense and Educational Fund, a national civil rights advocacy group, sued the Trump administration on behalf of those U.S. citizens being denied government stimulus payments because they are married to undocumented immigrants. They allege this is unconstitutional. Even just just getting that a little bit support from from that the organization, it could go a long way and it could potentially help you whether or not you're going to make your rent this month. In Phoenix, Alexa Famayor, Cronkite News. Here in Arizona, Aliento has raised over $25,000 so far and plans on giving $500 to 50 mixed status families over the next couple of weeks. Cronkite News reached out multiple times to several Republican state lawmakers to get their take on this issue. As of this broadcast, we had not heard back.